And now it's time to do a simple search in Psych Articles to see it in action. I'm just going to click in the first box and enter in our search term, which I'll keep simple with just racism. I'll leave this set to anywhere, and I'll also keep full text checked because I want whatever results we get to be able to read the full text. But I'm also going to select peer review to make sure that it's from a peer reviewed journal. I will have the option to filter later, but since I know that's what I want, I'll just pre-filter now and then I'll do the search. Now that we have our search results, you can see that we have over 5,000 results that have been returned, which are far too many to comfortably review and go through. So we can use the interface options on the left to uh, change some of the filtering options to reduce and narrow the results down uh, to things that we may want more specifically, such as uh, the publication dates. Scrolling down, uh, we can choose maybe we want, uh, and we can see here through the little graphic display that most of the articles on racism have been published more recently, and we can narrow that by pulling uh, the slider here, or we can enter the date range. We can also go down here and choose from the other filtering options, publication title or record type. This is a journal article, or maybe we're specifically looking for uh, a re book review, etc. We also have subjects, uh, much like we've seen in other databases. Uh, and the filtering options are very similar to what we've seen in library catalog, as well as EBSCO, other academic research databases. Going back up to the top, we can also, as we mentioned before, change the sorting so that it's not the most recent first, but by relevance. Next, looking at the actual result list, we can see here that the title we can click on that to go to the actual article itself. You can also click on abstract details. We can see that there is full text available, which is good, so we can actually read the article. Uh, there's also a full text PDF as well, which is great because then the layout and the formatting will look exactly like the print version, which can be very good when there are charts and graphs involved. And you can also see that there are cited by and references. So this indicates all of the other articles in psych articles uh, that are cited to this particular uh, article. And then references indicates all of the articles uh, that this particular article cites. So that's nice because now we know that this has additional references um, and cross-referenced resources that we could easily get to. You can also click to show abstract here so that we don't actually have to click into the article, but from the search results without leaving this page, we can then quickly read the abstract, which is the fancy term for a summary. Uh, and then you can also see the listing of the subject, the subject headings that are involved. Uh, so we can see at a glance that this particular article will deal with childhood development, masculinity, psychoanalysis, racial and ethnic attitudes, racism, and self-concept. I'm going to click to hide that. And so then we can scroll through and we could even see that this particular article has uh, graphs and charts uh, attached as well, uh, which we can quickly look at here. So a lot can be done from just the search result view without actually having to look into the article itself, um, clicking, going back and forth. So a lot of scanning and predetermining can be done at this stage from this screen. Now let's say we want to modify our search results based on some of the subject tags and classifications we've seen, uh, some of the results uh, that we've seen in the search results, 
maybe there are certain words or terms uh, that we realize we want to incorporate. So we want to go back to the advanced search screen and we want to change some of the search terms or perhaps add some search terms. You might be tempted to hit the back button on the browser to go back to the advanced search, but it's actually recommended instead to click here on modify search. So let's say we want to deal with uh, micro aggressions. So I'll just type micro aggression. I misspelled it. There we go. And now I'm going to do search. So searching for racism and microaggression, now we see that there are 223 results, which since I know those are things that I want to look for, is a lot more manageable than the 300, uh, sorry, 5,000 plus. But again, we do have the subject fields here. So we can, as we've done in other databases, click here. Uh, it only lists the first several and we click more and then we get this, uh, basically this modal widget dialog that pops up in the middle of the page. And we can see all of the subjects uh, that are in the search result. By default, it sorts by counted first. So it assumes it'll show you the highest count number. So 71 items in the search result have the subject racism, 62 have microaggression, etc. But instead you can click on subject uh, here. By clicking here, it's actually going to change the sorting from A to Z. If you click it again, it goes in reverse from Z to A. Uh, and then you can scroll it through uh, down and choose what you're looking for. So maybe I want to specifically look at microaggression and I'm interested in African Americans uh, in the African American community, maybe in Asians, Asian Americans. We choose the term blacks since it's there as well. And then we click apply. So right now, your original, our new modified search was 223 items, but now with oop filtering, uh, it can take a while to apply. Now we see that we have 96 results and we can see the filters that are applied right here. They're indicated. We can click to clear the filters if we want to get rid of them all, or we can cl just click on the X, the little box and clear that one particular uh, filter that's been applied. Also, if we scroll down and we go back to subject, we can see that whatever filters we've previously chosen are shown and listed at the top so that we can, at this point in the interface, we can click to eliminate them. Now at this point, I'm gonna click through and look at this particular article. I just want to point out here, uh, now that we're looking at the record of the article here, that there are a number of utility uh, functionality um, options here. You can download the PDF immediately from here. If you click on cite, it'll generate the citation format in the format of your choosing that's available. Uh, so for this course, it'll be APA. So let's say we choose APA 6th edition. And voila, pretty handy. But uh, as with other citation generations in other databases, uh, don't rely on this 100%. Uh, definitely, you need to uh, take this with a grain of salt and then check according to the citation uh, style format to make sure that it is actually formatted correctly. Since this is uh, technology uh, and this is web-based, there can be errors uh, either in the browser or in transmission. Uh, so things can go wrong and sometimes the formatting is incorrect or it may not have fully uh, changed from the MLA and it may still give you the MLA. 
So just keep that in mind, but this is a good starting point uh, that can help you generate your citation. You can click copy and then you can copy it into uh, whatever document uh, that you're taking notes in. So I'm going to click to dismiss this. Uh, we have a few more options. You can also email the article to yourself, which is very nice. Uh, and you can include the bibliographic citations at the end. You can include your, some of your recent searches, table of contents. Uh, you can include the citation format and type in your email address, etc and have it sent to you and a little message to help you keep track. And it's nice because then you can do the research, you can have it all sent in your inbox, and then instead of having to log in, uh, you can actually just go into your email and then you can look and download and read uh, the various documents that you've done, the searches that, the, that you've found in your searches. But sometimes you may actually wanna come back uh, to the particular article in the psych articles database because it has a lot of uh, additional functionality. Uh, we have, it's clickable, you can search here in the browser, but you can also see here, you can run further searches based on the subjects here. You can just click and cherry pick the ones you want and then you could run search. Uh, you can also see on the right hand side that we have uh, several related articles that psych article has generously provided for you. Um, which are nice because you didn't have to do any additional searching, but these can be potentially very relevant. And so it's handy. It's just right there. And you can also uh, see that when we click, uh, we see the references. So when we click on references, we can see all of the other articles and sources that this particular uh, article has cited all laid out for you in one nice, easy to access document. And if it happens to be in psych articles or in ProQuest, then you can actually click through and gain access to that particular article. So that's really great. Going up here, uh, back up to the top, we also see that it's cited by. If we click on that, we can see other articles that cite that particular article that we were looking at. So that's nice because that means that if another article cited this article, then it must somehow be relevant and could be relevant to our research. I'm going to go back and we're also going to click on the abstract details. Even though we saw the abstract on the full text in the very front uh, when we came to this article, we also from this view have clickable uh, subjects that we can then just jump to. The subjects here and on the right hand side that are listed are a good way to find out what the major topics are without doing a lot of reading. So that's nice because you can scan and figure out what the article is about. But you can also then click and launch a search just based on these particular ones. So here, let me just say uh, I'm interested in microaggressions. We did the search term before, but I'm just going to click. And then we can see that by subject, there are actually 86 articles in psych article that have the subject tagged of microaggressions. 